All right, guys, as promised, uh, this is part two. Uh, this will be just about the mods itself. And uh, I'll tell you where I did it, where I got them, and what website I used and how I contacted them. Uh, this, uh, all the people I'm going to be referencing will be from uh, checksfan.com. Again, it's a message board, kind of a forum. And uh, they're all on there. So checksfan.com. All right, so what we'll start off with is the uh, is the decals. It's a uh, Dan Bills fan, and uh, he did all the boards and decals. So if you have a look all the way around, Mostly uh, Canadian companies, mostly, and a bit of uh, racing uh, logos and uh, local businesses in the area here. So that's what those all look like. And then he also does the outside perimeter of the dome. Again, you just uh, send them the logos and what you're kind of looking for. He'll send you proofs and uh, he will, uh, he'll work with you and put exactly whatever you want on it. Uh, again, I went with Hockey Night in Canada. Uh, it's a big, uh, it's a show here in Canada that uh, very popular on Saturday nights, Don Cherry and everything. Uh, I, n I never miss it. All right, and again, all the way to the rear. You'll put any logo that you want on it. Uh, the package I went with uh, also included not only the boards, but uh, inside and out. He also does the scoreboard, so you'll put the teams on there to include the logos down on the base, uh, the boo button, You'll put the logo of the team. And the Senator's side. I'll just pop the dome so you guys can have a look inside. Closely. Again, it's uh, really, really well done. High quality decals and uh, yeah he'll pretty much do anything you you want next is uh, who uh, helped me out is uh, late night zero four uh, he does the goal light and horn uh, so there's the goal light itself on the top that also includes uh, behind the nets they're not lit right now, but uh, when you're playing and you score, they'll light up. Uh, I went with the, uh, the goal light on the top to kind of try to replicate the uh, Bud Light Red Light. And also with his package comes uh, with its own speaker. And sorry for this. Uh, it comes with its own little motherboard uh, and you can adjust the uh, the speaker to play over the actual gameplay or if you want it to be about the same thing it kind of fits in between i don't know if you can see this right here this is the speaker holder on the other side the speaker's on that it's wedged between the base and the table itself uh bastonade is the last uh, the next one for the golds so the nets, he does a very good job, uh, 3D printed, and uh, the bounce outs are very, very minimal. It's only happened a few times where a puck actually bounces out. I don't have the plastic protectors for a bounce out, so, but it's happened very, very rarely. Again, I'll pop the dome and you guys can have a quicker look at them. Very well done. The shoots come with them. Uh, 
They're very, very nice. I really, really like them. I tried making them myself and out of metal, not taking into effect that uh, the puck was magnetized and it was getting stuck often in the, in the net. So yeah, if you guys want some uh, high quality nets, hit them up. Really good, I really, really like them. Uh, next one is the cup holders. Uh, is done by uh, Game Room Info. So right now, the screws are taken off so I could remove the dome. But uh, what I did was I added a double-sided tape uh, to the underneath of them, so uh, they would be a little bit, a little bit, a little solid. All right. Yeah. So I mean, you don't have to. I just uh, was worried about uh, the children. Uh, grabbing the side of them and then ripping them off, but uh, no, they're pretty good. They're 3D printed, and uh, well, I believe they're three pr 3D printed, but they work very, very well. Canadian beers fit just nice in them, and uh, so does Pepsi and uh, Coke. All right, the next one is we'll go with is uh, the platform itself is a five inch rise that's countersunk for the base so it fits in nice uh, no chance of tipping over or moving it uh, fit just just nice it's uh this one here's made i made it myself made it out of oak and then uh, the the plaques itself are oak also and i used a uh, laser engraver to uh, put the logos into uh, into the wood itself quick look you would have seen it in part one anyways but uh, here's another look at them they're all screwed in from the uh, from the inside so that you'd see no screws on the logos or anything like that so it gives you that with a five inch uh, lift countersunk so it gives me about a three and a half inch rise I'm uh, 510 and I don't have to kneel down or bend over or anything like that or it, it it's a perfect rise for myself uh banners i just did this myself i mean they're not the best but uh i thought they were kind of cool i just used uh some kind of like round stock thin round stock and then welded them together and then what i did was i took uh i took the the scoreboard down and then placed it in between and then just screwed it all back together. The round stock is uh, it's pretty thin so it, it bent to the contour of uh, the dome. It was rather easy to do. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is, is the uh, LEDs. So what I did is I uh, switched it up this is uh, the bottom one is what comes with the game. And uh, what I did is I replaced it with uh, the top one is being LED. Got them off of uh, Amazon. And as you can see, they're relatively bright. Uh, they're a 6,000 to 6,500K uh, light LED. Uh, it is L135 millimeter, so five and a half, five point three inches, two pack, uh, G23 PL, S7 watt. So daylight is the one I went with. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, uh, relatively cheap. They're not that expensive. It's literally just unplug the old one, and this one plugs right in, and it really brightens up. Uh, the ice surface quite a bit. Um, next is, is I, if you can see, obviously, is the flashing lights right now. It's just pretty much uh, the LEDs underneath the cabinet. Uh, what I went with is uh, this one here. It is smart uh, lights, so it will react to sound or you can make it on random like this pick any color that you want and it's a uh, literally 
directly underneath. Other than that, guys, I think that's pretty much all I did. Uh, oh, the, uh, sorry, the players all came from, uh, I bought them already pre-painted. I got them on, at ICE. Uh, I picked, obviously, the Senators in Boston. Uh, the numbers on the back of the players don't come with it. Uh, those there I just printed off myself. And uh, with a... Uh, kind of like a sticker paper and then cut them out and uh, stuck them on the players. Wasn't really hard to do, wasn't very, didn't take long at all to do. Uh, I just found with the white numbers, I had to match the background of the sticker. So uh, the number would stick out being white. That was the only tough part I've had to do. And I think they turned out rather well. I mean, I don't do this for a living, so I mean, I'm sure somebody else could do a better job, but for me, it was, it did the job for what I wanted it to do. All right, uh, the next uh, I had other comments was, is the, uh, what do I shine the dome with? Uh, here in Canada, I couldn't get the stuff that, or didn't want to pay for the shipping and everything from uh, Ice Games for the polisher. Uh, so what I use is uh, this one here. Works really, really well. Took out fine scratches and buffed it out rather well. Uh, I didn't buy my game new, so uh, it did have little minor things to it, but uh, turned out rather well rather than the expense of uh, shipping out a new dome out of uh, Buffalo, it was, it was, the shipping was crazy. I just couldn't afford that. The shipping was pretty much the same price as uh, the dome itself. I uh, did try my hand at, uh, at painting players. So I just haven't gotten around to putting the decals on them or anything. Uh, but I'm going with the uh, the World Cup of Hockey, so I'm going to have the the two the two teams for that. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anybody that gave me a hand at uh, putting this together. Again, I paid the full price for all my mods. Uh, nobody gave me a discounted price, so I'm giving you my honest opinion on uh, on the quality of the stuff the guys are putting out. I think it's really, really good. Uh, I mean, again, I, I kind of have to agree that I did the proper purchase, but uh, no, I would definitely work with all these guys again. All right, if you guys have... Uh, any comments or anything like that, any other help that you guys need, again, uh, you can reach me here through uh, YouTube or I'm also on that checksfan.com, uh, the message boards. So give me a hit on one of the either platforms. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will try to put out more stuff. Uh, I'm new to all of this, so... Please bear with me. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having a look. Take care.